Hey, let's get started. So as you guys know, I like to use liquid latex. So I like to put it in a little shot glass like this and for just to make the the little like rotting flesh, you're gonna need the liquid latex, a brush, and toilet paper, tissue paper, um, paper towel, whatever, whatever kind of tissue you want to use. Um, kind of map out exactly where and how it's going to be. I kind of measure up to here, I should say. So. Good. And then now you want to like cut it in half like this so that oh, you want to put it over your mouth like so dip into the liquid latex and kind of just put it over basically taping it If it starts to rip, it's fine. Um, just make sure you get it wet enough. And make sure all sides are covered and really wet. And you can rip it a little bit, just around the mouth area. <laughs> so you are able to talk. I mean, you can either seal your lips or you can leave it um, open like me. Just make sure that you are putting latex all over. Just to make it like look like you know there's a situation going on and also depending on the tissue that you're using you have to be careful because it will rip like mine is ripping but like i said it's fine you know just be careful because you don't want to create like ball like structures you want to like it to be ripped but not make it into a ball okay now you're going to repeat the process of kind of stacking the tissue on top to make it have some actual texture you want to do this maybe two more times on top of this so it's gonna take a little while for it you know to put it on and for it to dry but we're just gonna make it work so we're adding another layer and we're gonna repeat the process I've kind of over here tried to, you know, um, kind of make my lips disappear and I will show you guys why and how. So basically you want to take <clears throat> a little piece of the tissue, like, like really, really small for your lips, like this, and just place it on. And with the liquid latex, you want to just make your lips disappear
Do not eat the latex, you know, of course. I never usually wait for it to dry on its, on its own. I usually just take the blow dryer and just because if not, you'll be here all day, girl. So now you want to take a tissue, square size, and you want to fold it in half. And you, ah, <laughs> and you want to put it over your mouth like so. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take your scissors. So your mouth is from here to here. So here to here. You're going to rip the tissue. So you're going <clears> to <throat> dig your, your um, little scissor and you're going to make rip things like this. Space them out kind of, you know, apart, like so. Now you're going to put them, you're going to glue them like this. But before that, you're going to take a black shadow. And you're gonna kind of cover your lips why so when you put the tape with the ripples in them they can't see you know your your lips or your teeth whatever so it doesn't necessarily have to be black shadow it could be black paint whatever it's something that's gonna cover so since over here, you're going to be able to see a little bit of the white. I'm just going to go back and I'm just going to put some more black in there. There we go. So now when you're putting this in, you want to put it in so it's open like this. And this will give you the chance to talk while, you know, your mouth is covered. So when you get to these parts, you just want to kind of brush over with the latex. You don't want to glue it to your mouth because obviously that would ruin what you just try to make. And sometimes you might have to rip them a little bit more, like open like this. Just so it's a little bit more believable. I'm going to fling them out like this so it gives it like a 3D effect. Because once they dry, they're going to dry like that. Now that this is dry and we're done making our face, it's time to cover it. Time to paint it. So with our paints, I'm going to take the black paint right here. And I'm going to go in with it just to make details. And I'm using a really, really thin brush. We're going to take our paint pods with the color purple. Get a little sponge, dip it in, and start placing it on the face.
So what I'm doing here is just taking a black shadow and just putting it over the purple just to give it a more rotting look and a more dead flesh kind of look if you get what I mean. So you just want to put it all over in places that you kind of didn't put the purple. So using the red from the paint pots, I'm just going around everywhere just putting red where I think I need some irritation on the skin. Obviously there's been cuts and obviously the skin is going to be irritated so I'm just placing a little bit more details with the red and a thinner brush. So taking the bloody scab, I'm just going to put the blood all around the frame of where I made the rotting flesh. And I'm also going to put it in where the teeth are just to give it a little bit more detail. The bloody scab is a really thick kind of texture and it gives it more of a clotty blood look. So I'm just going to put it inside and the outside and I'm just going to drag it down to my chin to make the fangs or the teeth if you will look a little bit longer and make it look like they're bleeding a lot more profusely here i put the fake blood and I put it in a little spray bottle and I'm just spraying it in between the fangs to make it look like it's leaking down to my chin and I'm going over it also with a sponge to make the whole bottom half of my face look like it has you know blood coming out from the inside. So here's the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this look and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!